guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hey girl my name is lucy i always say to stay subscribe join the family we always have a good time on this channel as you already see by the title today's video is going to be long distance relationship how to make your long distance relationship work okay i've had a lot of requests on long distance relationship and i decided to make that video for you guys today now today's video is sponsored by b fox hair i think that's how you pronounce it is that bow fox or b fox hair thank you guys so much for you know putting money in my pocket all right they sent over this lovely hair that i'm going to get into like the details and all that good stuff and installation and chit chatting as the video progresses if you're not following me on instagram go ahead and follow me without further ado let's just get right into the video so today's video is actually sponsored by b fox hair and let me show you guys how the packaging came i already ripped it apart but this is how the packaging came really cute inside comes with the wig i love that it always puts like a wig cap because honestly i forget to buy so i love that this company is always throwing one into their packaging which comes really handy and always they add like instructions on how you can take care of the wig it's pretty much the same the only difference is just box packaging and the packaging style now this hair i'm going to be reading off of my phone which is right in front of me but the hair that they actually sent to me is their 13 by 4 lace front wig is their peruvian virgin human hair um it's 180 density i know that's the one i got for sure because they have two options 150 and 180 the one that i have today is 180 the length is um 30 inches now listen <laughs> i haven't had 30 inches in so long i think the last time i had 30 inches was probably mm, four or five years ago um i've just been sticking with the 20s or bob wigs so this is how the wig comes so this is how long the wig is and it's quite full for 180 density because usually usually it's not this full like 180 is not this full but it's really thick like you guys now this wig actually came pre-plucked i didn't pluck it and this is how it came and i'm going to install it that way i did go ahead and bleach the knots although it came like slightly pre-bleached but you guys know i like to over bleach my lace before i install it because that way it kind of looks more natural if that makes sense today's topic is actually long distance relationship i have seen a lot of comments i'm telling you i think every other video that i post someone always asks me to talk about long distance relationship and yeah i always forget something whenever i'm recording it's either i forget scissors or i forget my band i must forget something so let me quickly grab that okay so we're talking about long distance relationship today now i feel like i'm in the best position to talk about long distance relationship because all my relationships have been long distance all of them i mean not some of them have been you know bearable i mean when i mean bearable i mean not the same city but the same country but for the most part it's been not the same country so i'm in the best position i feel like i'm in the best position to talk about long distance relationship with you now long distance relationship either way we have two types i mean i'm going to talk about two types of long distance relationship today but either one of them stressful not really the most convenient type of relationship not going to lie it takes a lot to keep a long distance relationship going it takes a lot for it to work and that's just me being honest with you that's my introduction because i mean i feel like that's the best way to open this up it takes a lot to make a long distance relationship work i'm sure you're familiar with this step of my install so i'm going to use the got to be spray okay so the first type of long-term relationship i'm going to talk about is the type that happens out of circumstance you guys started off being in a normal relationship and then because of circumstance you had to you know transition into long distance that's definitely easier than the second type i'm going to talk about because i mean you had the time to get to know each other physically you were probably in the same city you had the time to sit down and have conversations communication face to face like spend time together like know each other better do you get what i mean that one is pretty much easier to deal with although like the pressure is still the same when um you one of you move away or it becomes long distance but for the most part that is better than the second one now the second type of long distance relationship is the type where you start off long distance so probably met somebody online which is 
most likely the case it's the way most people start relationships these days which i find really weird i'm not going to lie like i have my reservations about you know online dating meeting someone on instagram or all them apps which is there's nothing bad with it don't get me wrong i'm just saying that i mean it's kind of weird i mean who would have thought but nowadays it's like the most common way to meet someone but yeah that type of long distance relationship is a second type where you basically meet someone on the internet or you were introduced by a mutual friend but you have never met the person before and maybe the person lives in another country another state is easier to manage because you can plan you know weekend trips but another country huh, sis Mm. <laughs> that's really hard that's really difficult but those are the two types of long distance relationship long distance relationship generally comes with a lot of issues insecurities you know trust issues uncertainties just pretty much a lot a lot of stuff long distance relationship requires double work so whatever work you put in a normal relationship a regular relationship to work you have to double it triple it for a long distance relationship to work and that's just the truth Let's talk about how you can make your long distance relationship work, okay? This is purely by experience. These are all the things I've gathered from doing long distance pretty much all my life. So I know exactly what I'm talking to you guys about. Now, the first thing I'm going to say about long distance relationship, the first thing I'm going to advise you to do if you're in a long distance relationship is to communicate. Now, let me tell you, in as much as this, you've heard this a million times, in as much as a lot of people keep saying this, even in regular relationships, that communication is key. I personally have told you communication is key in every relationship. But let me just say this. It has to be prioritized, okay? If you, if you didn't know how to communicate, you have to learn how to communicate to be able to make that relationship work. And even if you knew how to communicate, but the communication was on that, you know, mid, low level communication or basic communication. My sister, my brother, you have to amplify it. You have to increase it. You have to do more. So when I mean do more, typically when you're in a regular relationship, you wouldn't have schedules to when you would speak or when you would meet or, you know, when you would do certain things. But in a long distance relationship, you have to keep the communication as scheduled and as on point as possible meaning you both will definitely have to deal with your your different lives like you know work studying all that stuff so obviously when life gets in the way and you know you still have to keep up with someone who is pretty much like seas away countries away cities or states away you have to add them to your daily routine so in terms of communication you have to have to a plan you have to stick to a plan you have to stick to a schedule so if you would talk every 6 p.m make sure it's every 6 p.m if you can't make it at 6 p.m you let your partner know you reschedule so that communication has to have a nice balance and a nice flow it has to be intense for anything to work because communication is pretty much the only thing that you have to get to know yourselves to get to you know having conversations like starting up conversations to you have to talk a lot so normally in, in a regular relationship you could have you would have communication but you would also have you know date nights you would also have you know visits you would also hang out you know take a walk and stuff like that so without you actually speaking you get to know the person on a different level if that makes sense but long distance relationship you're solely relying on communication at this point to keep things alive you're solely relying on communication to actually get to know the person so it has to be on point it has to be highly highly prioritized if not it will not work communication in the long distance relationship is just one line it has to be online it has to be through facetime um iMessage, whatsapp viber however you guys communicate or keep up with each other online basically that's the only like online is the only option that you have to make it work and you have to utilize it you cannot come into a long-term relationship and be like oh i'm not a texter i'm more of like a caller or i prefer calls that's not going to work in a long distance relationship because 
bro sis you have to exhaust every medium of communication like that's you have to use all of it and you have to be consistent with all of it because there are some times where your partner would not be disposed to you know call but they rather text maybe they're doing something and calls will not be stable at that time then they have to switch to texting so you have to be on point with all of it you have to be a texter you have to be a caller you have to be a video caller because these are the only things that are going to make communication perfect on both ends if you get what i mean Listen, I'm talking and I'm not doing my hair. And I'm not even mad at it because I'm glad that I'm talking. Now, the second thing I'm going to advise you to work on, which is also as important as the first, is trust. Now, <sighs> even in regular relationships, someone that you probably know that lives in your neighborhood, you probably know, you know, what they're doing. You can literally just walk in on them and stuff. Trust is hard to give in any relationship it is hard because obviously we're dealing with humans and our modern day human beings are not normal at all like i'm so sorry i just have to be honest but you see if you decide to go into a long distance relationship with someone you have to understand that you have no choice than to give trust because insecurities actually come in you don't know this person with a kind of paint okay so you're not sure what they are like in their hometown or wherever they, they are you're not sure what they're doing you're not sure who their friends are actually you don't know anything about this person so giving trust is that's in the second in the second type of long distance relationship i mean so it's hard to give trust but if you decide which by the way if i didn't say this earlier let me say the list i'm going to give you that would help you you know work on your long distance relationship would only work because you have made up your mind for it to work and obviously you've made up your mind to be in that situation i'm guessing and that's the reason why you're watching this video anyway but yeah since you have made up your mind to be in this relationship you've chosen this person you want to be you want to be with this person and no matter where life takes either either of you listen even if you have your doubts which you will have your doubts <laughs> because being a long distance relationship tests you tests your patience as a human being you have to come to terms with the fact that this is a choice that you have made and you're sticking with it and you're going to trust your partner until they have given you reasons to not trust them have that in your head trust that they are not doing the things that they don't want you to do now the third thing i'm going to talk about which should have actually been the second thing but it's okay for it to be the third i want you to put your intentions on the table your intentions and your expectations from that relationship i'm telling you it should be the first thing you know how i talked about communication now this is what you should communicate about so if you've gotten to that point where you see that things are progressing nicely like you're like okay you know what i'm having good conversations with this guy and we would like to move forward learn to always state your intentions and expectations from that relationship there are so many other ways you could do that when you're having a regular relationship you could take your time with it you could feel the person out you could whatever the whatever you want to do in a long distance relationship but you can't do that you have to state intention you cannot be in a situation with someone that is countries away from you like it doesn't make sense you can't be left floating in the air with someone that is countries away best believe that the person is doing their own thing and you should be doing your own thing you cannot have that thought in your head that you're in a relationship with someone without actually stating your intentions and both of you's intentions align it has to align for anything to work in the first place another tip that i have for you guys is creating activities together virtual activities actually a lot of people don't know how important this is especially when you're getting to know someone there's usually like for instance netflix party um playing online games together you know there are different games that you can play online i know that there are these couple games that couple games couple card games but online that you could play you know it's kind of like a conversation starter type game it's an online one you could get you know anything that spices your relationship up you have to do like in-depth search for things that you both can do from your different locations but together if that makes sense long distance relationship extra work like i said you need to put in the effort you need to be available to do things that you you normally wouldn't do or you never thought that you'd be doing so you have to go out of your way and put in extra work. that's the reason why i said earlier that 
normal relationship you have to put in work but with long distance relationship you're putting two three times four times the actual the normal work that you're supposed to put in a relationship that's why it's actually difficult but if you love the person that you're with and you've chosen to do that it will work now the next point so the next advice i'm going to give you is patience and endurance okay with patience and endurance like you know should be applied in any type of relationship long distance relationship regular relationships even friendships and as well as understanding if you if you understand them it'll be easy for you to be patient with them now when it comes to like long distance relationship in the beginning especially in the beginning <laughs> It could blow hot and cold, which could also be a red flag, but to a certain extent, when you're starting to know someone, when you're starting to get to know someone, especially online, it is difficult to push your doubts aside. It is difficult to question, to not question yourself or question, you know, the words that the other person is saying. So sometimes you could find yourself, especially if you've been burnt a couple times um, dating, you could find yourself like, you know, blowing hot and cold without even knowing. So that's not even the kind of person that you are. And when I mean blowing hot and cold, so one moment your conversations is like you know it's going hot like you guys are really interacting communicating and the next minute it could just you know go down a little bit but that doesn't necessarily mean the person isn't a reliable person it just means that we're humans so sometimes you know our thoughts could get in the way negative thoughts could get in the way and you're just like am i sure i'm doing the right thing you know so those thoughts be, you begin to project so you begin to act on those thoughts so you could basically or they could basically just you know maybe slow things down a little bit but i would say the best way to handle that situation if you have doubts that keeps creeping in to have the conversation with them like communication again is key so have a conversation with them and let them know how you're feeling and i know sometimes even if you have the conversation with them you're not satisfied because people lie i know that but that's the reason why that's the reason why i'm like it's possible to blow hot and cold even if you communicate so let's just be human about this and say sometimes because you are overthinking situations especially for us overthinkers we basically overthink everything so you could blow hot and cold one minute you want to speak to them the next minute is like should i really be speaking to them <laughs> should i really talk to them like am i am i not being crazy like who actually falls in love with someone online and like all that stuff you begin to question yourself i mean it's pretty normal that's the reason why i'm putting that there like it's normal now when it is them this is where the patience and understanding comes in you have to understand that this is how it is sometimes and to be able to have something solid with this person you know thoughts start to creep in okay thoughts start to creep in and let me be honest with you a lot of people might not argue with me on this but if you don't have situations where you both are just like uh, like am i really doing the right thing or here one person isn't being genuine and that's just the truth from my opinion like my experience my thought because if someone doesn't have like doubt like am i really doing the right thing I mean i don't care if they get it right with you or not and that's just the truth and they probably have like other people that they are talking to they have options so you are just one of them so if you fall through then I just continue with the remaining. Now, the next point I'm going to talk about, which is in connection with having patience and understanding is reassurance. When the situation arises of, um, you know, doubts and blowing hot and cold and that communication comes in, the best way to handle it is to reassure the person rather than, you know, try to play that card of, you know, I think I'm doing my best. So why can't you not trust me? You know, you could get frustrated especially especially if it's the first type the first type of long distance relationship where you both were started off as normal relationship and you know later on things actually changed the reason why it would be easy for you to kind of like get mad when things are not you know stable or when or consistent that's the word actually when they're not consistent or communication isn't flowing as often is because you're just like you're frustrated so you're like why am i even doing this and it could be actually in both types of long distance relationship because it's like why am i doing this why am i here there are a lot of boys in my city there are a lot of boys around me why am i doing long distance with this guy and it's like am i even sure that he's the 
he's the right person for me uh, how am i sure that he's he's not you know living a double life doing this and that you know those thoughts so you could just get frustrated so sometimes your first response to someone like blowing hot and cold or things not being consistent could just be like i'm putting in my all why are you not getting it i just feel like that's like a harsh way to deal with that type of situation reassurance should always come in play because we're humans okay the same way we want them to reassure us the same way they want us to reassure reassure them that we are there for them like we're loyal we're in we're committed all that good stuff so reassurance is just key and if he is not reassuring you I mean, it could be that he's also frustrated. So you could just call his attention and let him know that oh, the only reason why I'm feeling like this is because I need you to, you know, talk me through the process. Talk me through all of this. Like, I want to be here, but it's frustrating to be here. Do you get what I mean? So you talk to the person, let them know. Talk to him and let him know that, you know, it is completely fine it's going to happen like this once in a while but i just need us to be able to let each other know that you know it's all right it's just for the time being um we're in this together basically my next tip that i have for you is to make up time for each other you need to make time for each other you just need to make time to be able to see i'm telling you as often as possible like you're not doing that once in a year type thing or once in four months type thing no matter how hard it is for you guys to actually meet, make it work. As long as you both already committed into being in a long distance relationship, I don't see any reason why you cannot put in the effort to make it work. At least, okay, if it's that far apart, maybe like twice a month. Now, my next point would be, you need to place ground rules, okay? They need to be rules that you need to follow. They have to be rules. They have to be boundaries. They have to be like, okay, babe, we're doing this, we both agreed to do this. So Wednesday, Thursdays, we're dedicating our evenings to this and the third. Also, no doing this, no doing that, no doing this, no doing that. My next point is a must. I'm telling you, it's a must. In as much as you agree to do long distance relationship, right? You agreed, you committed to it. One thing that you need to have down is an end date and moving forward what could happen like you cannot just continue being in a long distance relationship forever that is completely useless so discuss an end date and make sure that it's something concrete end dates are very i feel like it, it should even come up okay not necessarily in the beginning but midway midway through the entire relationship i think discussing end dates should be something that should come up constantly so that you both walk towards a goal either you know if it's job that is making you both you know have a long distance relationship then maybe discuss you know progress okay you're moving here i'm moving here i'm doing this just like make plans together that's my point those plans have to have you know specific periods it has to be like okay if we're doing long distance we're doing long distance for two years if we're doing long distance we're doing long distance for one year and then you're moving here or i'm moving here or we're both moving to a different location those are important conversations that should be put on the table every now and then and obviously this is life so things change but it should always be renewed as life progresses if not it will carry on till you both get exhausted to the point that the relationship will not be able to continue and take it from me that is real facts the extra baby hair today like i wanted to just slick it down i wanted to just frame my face so i'll dry this a little bit so i went ahead and put in like a side part because I needed to concentrate to do that but the part I put is like not the regular type I just put in like you know a slant I want the you guys know what I'm talking about I want the, the front of the hair to like fall a certain way as long as you love someone I feel like you should be able to put in the effort to make it known and to also make it stay and to maintain the love and affection that you have for that person now prioritizing that your partner isn't something that should be hard for you to do on a normal but because you're in a long distance relationship it's going to be hard it's going to be hard to 
prioritize the other person because you know it's frustrating you could get frustrated you get tired it's not all the time that you want to be on like you know facetime and stuff trust me i've been there done that it's not all the time that you want to be on facetime you want to have a conversation you know you just sometimes just want to chill want to relax want to be cuddled it could make you just be like okay you know what i don't really want to i don't want to do this anymore which is fine i get it but at the same time if you love your partner and if they're absolutely the best for you and you all connect so well just try to push through those thoughts because those thoughts will creep in prioritize them no matter how crazy your work schedule is no matter how crazy your life is no matter how crazy things get for you prioritizing your partner makes things a lot easy and to be honest with you once you begin to put in that work it will get reciprocated and if it doesn't this is where obviously communication comes in and you sit down you have that conversation you let them know exactly how you feel and if things do not change then maybe long distance relationship is not for both of you the final point that i have for you guys is relating to sex and the thing is um this is a part of long distance relationship that a lot of people like to shy away from but it needs like you need to talk about it okay you need to have communication about you know your sexual should i say experience or your sexual communication needs to be strong i don't know how to say it, but if both of you are active or even if you're not active i feel like it's also a discussion on the table that you both have to have um you need to be aligned on that as well and if you're active and because you can't have like physical communication or you cannot have like physical touch or you know practice your little thing here and there um there are other ways to spice things up online okay like you guys like <laughs> there are a lot of ways to have that experience but online okay it doesn't matter where you are you can always like you know practice a lot of stuff and i know that they have a lot of like equipment that you can basically operate from anywhere in the world through apps you know what i'm talking about if you don't know google it you're going to understand what i'm talking about long distance relationship works 100 percent can work it will work if you want it to work if you both not just you because it cannot be one-sided but if you both want it to work it will work you have to put in the work you have to put in a lot of patience try to educate yourself on so many things that could potentially you know grow your relationship or harm your relationship so you know how to avoid things and also things to do to make things to make everything better or bearable for you so i had to quickly go ahead and finish up my hair i even changed my top because you know i have makeup on and when i was doing my hair it just kind of got all over the shirt so i didn't want to come back looking a mess so i finished up my hair basically i took off the headband um straighten the hair because obviously you don't need to watch me do that so i'm pretty much done and this is how the the frontal looks like this is what this is the final result of the frontal looks absolutely stunning i love it this is the length of the hair this is how long it is it pretty much gets to my ass <laughs> on my waist <laughs> it gets there that's how long it is so yeah so basically that's everything i have for you in this video i hope i was able to touch on important points in long distance relationship if there's anything that you'd like me to talk about or if there there are things that i didn't touch on in this video i could make a part two because relatively speaking long distance relationship has different branches different areas that could be talked about that i i most definitely didn't cover in this video because obviously that would be too long and also all the details to this hair is going to be linked in the description box below i believe i have a discount code as well i'm going to leave everything in the description box for you guys to check out follow me on instagram if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed thank you thank you thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye